Today's video is all about pruning up some limbs. I don't know about you guys, but uh, my zero turn has a roll bar, which I love that it has that, and my tractor has one too. And the one thing that drives me crazy is when I'm working around near the edge of the tree line, and the roll bar will grab a limb and it pulls it down and bangs me in the head or the neck or get scratched up or whatever. So I am all about uh, pruning limbs and keeping everything where I'm working on a regular basis all pruned up so the roll bars don't get into it so anyway today's video is going to be about breaking out the steel ht103 which is a more of a heavier duty pole saw and i'm going to be knocking out a bunch of branches so come on guys watch check out the video and let's go get busy <music> Well, hey guys, Jeff here, Project Next One, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, if this is your first time visiting our channel, uh, welcome. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, our channel is all about just knocking out projects one at a time and uh, we learn things as we go and I always try to share all that information with you guys so please be sure to hit the subscribe and uh, like and share with your friends and again welcome so today's project uh, is all about uh, working with a pole saw um, I have a lot of tree line that borders my property and on my zero turn and on my tractor uh, I have roll, case, uh, roll bars and the thing that drives me nuts is like a limb like this right here will grab, get a hold of the roll bar and it'll pull it down and bang me in the head. So anyway, you can see I've got a lot of low running uh, branches over on this side and the thing that amazes me is guys it hadn't been that long that I trimmed this all up. It just amazes me how fast things grow. So anyway, uh, we have had uh, all kinds of rain. Uh, everything is uh, wet as it can be there's lots of water standing and so everything's really too wet to get out and do any kind of projects in the yard so it's a beautiful day the uh, sun is out blue skies uh, it's a nice breeze blowing it's not too hot so today's a perfect day to knock this project out so anyway guys I am going to fire up the uh, pole saw and uh, and then get all the limbs pulled out and then here in a little while I'll get the tractor and get the grapple and we'll get all the stuff picked up so you know me guys let's get busy guys I gotta give my shoulders a break I really love the HT 103 uh, steel pole saw this one here uh, it is heavier duty and it is handled basically flawlessly everything that I've put it up for uh, I mean it, it knocks out as you guys can see I was cutting some pretty stout limbs uh, you know three to four inches in size and uh, it just nips right through them um, but because it is a little heavier duty, it is physically heavier. I don't mind it. I just work in shorter uh, bouts at it. And then I just take a break and give my shoulders what, what gets taxing. My arms don't really get tired, just my shoulders get tired. And it, uh, the muscles in my neck start burning. 
So, you know, I just take a break. Hey, I mean, you ain't gotta go at it so hard, <laughs> you know? But anyway, uh, now for me, the fun part comes because I'm gonna grab a tractor and get the grapple. But if you, of course, it's kind of hard to see with the limbs laying in the ground, but you can see to where I have really carved out a niche. These pine trees were the worst ones of all. Boy, it just amazes me how, tree, how any plant wants to live. And man, if it's in a whole bunch of trees, you know, it is starving to try to get to some sunlight. And man, those limbs will just grow in all kinds of weird directions to get to some sunlight. So anyway, I'm gonna grab the grapple, come through here and pick all this up and go carry it back on the burn pile. But as you can see, the limbs through there, I am just above where the uh, roll bar is on my tractor. So when I come up here working right next to uh, the uh, tree line, working on my yard, you know, core plug aerating or whatever, uh, I'm not gonna get into the tree limbs. So anyway, besides it being very functional, I think when it's all done and cleaned up, it looks really nice too. So anyway, let's go grab the tractor, guys. Well, wow, has it been a productive afternoon. It's been a great day to be working outside. The humidity's low, sun's out. Uh, it's still kind of a little wet and muddy, uh, but not too bad in this spot. I haven't made too big of a mess. Anyway, let me show you guys the final result. So, uh, do you guys, I don't know if y'all could hear that on the camera, but that was a hoot owl hollering. And he's not far away. And boy, that sounded wild. That's the first time I've heard him talking. Maybe we'll be quiet. Maybe he'll sound off one more time. Well, I thought if I'd wait on him, he might sound off one more time. That is a really cool thing. I've heard a hoot owl a time or two, but never this close. Uh, that was wild. Anyway, I hope you guys heard that. That was really cool. So, sorry guys, didn't mean to get sidetracked there, but man, when things like that happen, Stop and listen. <laughs> that was really cool. So anyway, guys, um, was able to get all of the limbs really tucked up nice and high. Be a good while, be quite a few years before they grow enough that they'll get back in my way. And now I've got all of this area all cleaned up and got all the limbs picked up uh, and over on the back pile ready to burn. And now once this dries up a little bit more, a uh, little bit more growing, I'll be ready to come over here and mow it and really get it all dressed up pretty. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I uh, love working the uh, um, uh, pole saw and I especially obviously love working that grapple. Gosh, that thing is such a workhorse. I know you guys, I've had it in quite a few videos, but man, it just gets the work done and it makes it so much easy. So anyway, well guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, remember here at Project Next, there's always one more. Um, I try to upload videos a couple times a week and have them go live on Mondays and Fridays. So thanks so much for watching and be looking for another one coming real soon. So for now, guys, you have a great week. Guys, stay safe and we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching and we'll see you. Thank you.